Brazilians are planning a poo protest in the River Seine what? ahead of the Paris <laughs> Olympics. <laughs> now, this is a true story. They are apparently upset $2.3 billion has been spent to clean up the river. So they're organising a what? defecation flash mob, as you do for June the 23rd. Now, that happens to be the day that Paris Mayor and Hidalgo promised to take a dip to prove the clean-up was worth it. President Macron also promised to swim oh. in the Seine, sparking memes including this one of him covered in merde. Uh, <laughs> ah, the city of love. No, this is a real thing. Parisians are threatening to do a protest in which they poo in the Seine River. And they're threatening to do so over the amount of money that has been spent on cleaning up that river in time for the Summer Olympics, which will be taking place in Paris. Now, um, let's back up, let me give you the context and then we'll give you a sense of where this protest is at at the moment. So at first glance, the protests seem to be a little bit counterproductive. The Seine River is set to be a star feature of the Summer Olympics in Paris. It is slated to host the open water swimming events and a leg of the triathlon. And so they wanna make sure that it's clean enough for people to be able to swim in. The problem is the Sun River is real dirty, okay? And they've had a lot of issues with the pollution of that river. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. And so in 2015, Paris launched a swimming plan with the goal of making the river swimmable for the 2024 Olympics. And also for ordinary Parisians as well, although I would venture to say they wouldn't care as much if it weren't for the Olympics. And that's not just about Paris, that happens in every other major city that hosts the Olympics. So French authorities have spent $1.5 billion in the last decade trying to clean up the river by improving the Paris sewer sewer system, as well as building new water treatment and storage facilities. But it didn't work, major storms have actually overwhelmed the wastewater network, some of which which date back to the 19th century. Remember, we're talking about Europe here. And so some of their infrastructure is incredibly old. And that has led to discharges of untreated sewage directly into the river. And so it's the amount of money that's being spent on cleaning up the river and the lack of attention that's being paid to other very real social issues that are taking place in France right now. So a report published last Friday showed that despite these efforts, the water is still incredibly dirty to swim in. According to a report published by the Paris region and mayor's office, analysis shows that the water does not meet the standards set for the 2024 Olympic Games, open water events, citing the presence of two kinds of fecal bacteria, including E. coli. You don't want to swim in that. No. But you have these politicians, including Macron, who are in denial about it. And they're like, no, it's just gonna be totally fine. We're gonna go swimming in it. They're not gonna go swimming in it, okay? They have postponed that effort or that <laughs> PR attempt because of the fact that it's unsafe. And so French open water swimming coach, Stephanie Lacat also argued that there are places around Europe that are a lot worse than the Seine. And we swim there every year. I'm kind of not buying that. But the protesters are upset. Soon a website was created to give people all the information they would need so that Macron and the mayor of Paris, Hidalgo, would have the crappiest swim possible. There was even a tool for those who lived upstream of Paris, helping them figure out exactly when they'd need to deposit their business so that it would float down in time to greet the politicians for the big event, the swimming Jesus. event. Yeah. And so I'm gonna give you one comment from the programmer behind this or organizer behind this poop protest. The problem is that all the resources that have been invested have not been to resolve all the social problems we have at the moment. We have the feeling of being abandoned. We see where their priority was. And this is just a common thing, Jenk, that we see in every major city that hosts the Olympics, because it's true. You know, the local population will feel totally abandoned and neglected by the local politicians. And then when it comes to the Olympics, oh, no expense is spared. Yeah, so LA is gonna have the Olympics in 2028. And all of a sudden, there'll be no homeless people in LA. 
Uh, so that's what's gonna happen. Uh, that's what happens every time a major event comes to LA. And so this, as Anna pointed out, happens all across the world, not just for Olympics, but for any major event. There's a logical reason why a lot of people from across the world are going to come here. You wanna present the best face for the city so that they'll come back again for more and more tourism. It's a massive marketing opportunity and tourism is a big part of your economy. I understand all that. But you also have to understand that the local population is going to get super frustrated when they see that you can fix things, you just choose not to the great majority of the time and you only fix it when other important people, the non-citizens of that city come into that city. And that is deeply frustrating. I mean, it reminds me of when Xi Jinping was going to visit San Francisco and meet with Gavin Newsom. And they cleaned up San Francisco specifically for that visit. And Newsom held a press conference. He's like, oh, you know, some people are asking me if we cleaned up San Francisco specifically for Xi Jinping. And the answer to that is yes, yes, we did. Yeah, of He's course. He's just slimy. So we will clean it up for the Chinese dictator, but we will not clean it up for the citizens of San Francisco. Right before the LA elections, Karen Bass wanted to win. So all of a sudden, there were no homeless in LA. For the two weeks before the election, yep. you couldn't find a homeless person. So this is brazen, it's annoying. But the great thing about the French citizens is they don't take any crap. But occasionally, they do give some crap. <laughs> so, I mean, they will protest you, they will fight for their rights so much more than in America where we've become you know, soft and complacent because our media tells us that protesting is a terrible thing to do and that you should never do it. So French, way to lead by example, I like it. Keep it going brothers and sisters. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.